Hello everyone, I'm Diglo Buffalo. This is Let's Play Mafia. So this is where the story begins. Driver. Even though I wasn't making much and I worked from dawn to dusk, I was glad to be working. I'll try to shut up over the cutscenes so you can get you can hear the plot. It was a bad time, and some other people were worse off than me. It was that very taxi that drew Salieri's people to me in the first place. One day I was on my break and I was just hanging out. Suddenly I heard a tremendous crash. That's convenient. They just managed to get rid of the tail and the first thing they do is they crash. There's a taxi. We'll be okay. There's a that these guys had to get out of there fast, so I thought it was best to cooperate rather than ending up with a hole in my head. Move it. Come on. It's probably King's last words. First thing I'm gonna do is as soon as I get some distance from the other car that's chasing us, I'll probably crash too. Where to? So. Anywhere! Fast! Hope you're damn fast! Faster than Sam here was! I burned rubber out of there like a bat out of hell. It didn't matter where, just away from those gentlemen who were chasing my new customers. Now listen carefully. Is this car even capable of burning rubber? If you don't do it, then I wouldn't be so sure. You. Step so, on anyway, here. let's try and get out of here. This part is hey, actually no. pretty difficult! Because the car is slow, and I'll as you. you just saw, it's him, not Sam. all that easy to control. This for size. So, let's see. Oh, we got a little bit of distance, but... Can't you go any faster? My taxi! There's a chance that the computer will actually accelerate the other car to get it. Ah, that... Man, there it is. Kill him, Sam. Die. We were actually rid of them, and now they're Everybody suddenly right it. back there, so... Yeah, I think the computer cheated a bit there to get it back to draw even. Well, let's see if we can get rid of them. Step on it, they're still on our tail. Christ, you want to pay attention? Well, they're not on the radar anymore. Well, Great. are we done? Yes. We made it. Good work, brother. On the first I try, mean, how about that? So, this game is from 2002, so it's nearly 10 years old. I checked that out on Wikipedia before starting this. And I must have played it for the first time a couple of years after that. I remember my cousin had it and uh, he was playing it and whenever he'd get stuck somewhere he'd uh, he'd ask me to take a look and to give it a try and see if I could get any further oh we should probably get limit our speed because the police in this game are pretty annoying so yeah better to be safe than sorry because they're a real drag to get rid of. So anyway, I was saying my cousin had this game, and uh, when he'd get stuck, he asked me to take a look to give it a try and see if I could get past the part that he was stuck on. And, uh, well, I didn't dislike what I saw of the game, so um, sometime a little while later I got it, and I played it. Uh, start to finish because my first glimpses were just random pieces of the game where where wherever my cousin would get stuck so then I played it start to finish the whole plot and then actually full throttle played that finished that even though it cost me 
a ton of time. There's a there's a couple of missions in there which are really, really, really annoyingly difficult. And uh but I did finish it. I had uh my little house Aren't with the collection of all the bonus cars and, and everything parked out in front of it. Um, if I can get my save game to work with this version, because this, this is the Steam version that I just bought a couple of days ago off of the summer sale. Um, well, uh, maybe I'll show you uh, that save game of the house with all the cars. But, uh, anyway, so... Uh, I haven't played this game in a few years, so I'm not sure I remember any everything, so it's obviously not a blind playthrough, but uh, I might take me a couple of tries to, to finish some of the parts, which I don't remember entirely. But, you know, bear with me, we'll get to the end eventually. And, uh, this, by the way, is the first time I'm playing this game in English. Because before, I only played the Italian version. I actually own a copy of the Italian version, and I bought the English version now on the Steam Summer Sale for a couple of bucks, because, um, I prefer playing it in the original version. So, anyway, we're right now just about to arrive at Salieri's Bar, which is right around the corner here. I do remember the layout of the city quite well, so that, that'll that help. Here we are, and there's some incons inconspicuous looking fellas standing Finally, out in front home. of the car, Wait here, uh, the bar. Sam will get you a little something from Mr. Salieri. But, didn't we arrive from the other side? Thanks for your help. We just magically teleported there to, <laughs> to the other side of the street, coming from the other direction, but oh well. Here's our two friends heading out, heading in past the inconspicuous looking guys. And I don't know, you just saved a couple of mafia guys from a shootout from a from a car chase. Maybe it would be a good idea to not hang around. You know, they, they tend not to like witnesses that much. And the inconspicuous looking guys are looking inconspicuous. And that was some <laughs> fairly bad texturing and maybe you would have been better not to give that guy a close up, but anyway. Hmm, just got a mail. Alright. Here we are, the guy with the pretty severe looking bow tie. That's a real angular design there. He's reaching into his chest! That's disgusting! Is it gonna pull his heart out? You can hear it beating all the way over here. Well, no, that's actually your heart, but what does he pull out? Mr. Salieri would like to thank you as well as myself and Paulie. He pulled an envelope out of his it's chest. Compensation for the damage to your car and it's not services. even bloody. It should be enough. That's convenient. Yes, uh, of course. Thanks. Uh, give my regards to Mr. Salieri. Mr. Salieri wants you to know that he is very grateful to you. If you ever need anything, you can come back and ask for help. Because Salieri, Mr. Salieri uh, wasn't he a composer? You out. know, Mozart's friend? If you're interested, maybe we could find a job for you here. And it would pay well. We always have positions for guys as good as you. Okay, uh, okay. I'll think about it. Thanks. Uh, really thanks. Uh, I'd better go uh, to fix the car and so on. All right. I understand. Just think about it. And I hope it's clear that this matter is only between ourselves. You take care, kid. Between ourselves is. All right. Well, we got out of it alive. Well, That's something. Up, I almost had a heart attack. There was more than it would cost to do the repairs. But I didn't for a minute think about their offer. I didn't want to join some criminals, even if they had all the money in the world. It's better to be poor and alive than rich and dead, right? I was going to get my cab repaired and try to forget it all as soon as possible. As my mother always said, you can never predict what God has in store for you. Alright, let's finish part one, and I'll see you up ahead in part two.